what is going on guys welcome back to run my crypto thank you guys for clicking on this video guys i hope that you get the amazing journey that i try to build for you today in this one so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh many questions that people have is it too late to get into crypto i don't think so i think we're still at a decent time guys the markets are cooling off big time so that's why we're seeing a lot of red in the market so what does this mean going forward for bitcoin and for other cryptocurrency projects that you're invested in well we'll talk about it we'll get into that detail so make sure you guys hit the like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so that you can stay informed on run my crypto video content guys that i try to put out for you so what i want to know is just where do you stand in this market and do you know any strategies that may be helpful well if you do or you don't i got one for you today that you might be interested in that will help you make some significant money in the crypto space going forward as you were getting in today so make sure you guys watch all the way through to the end of this video guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date on the run my crypto channel guys and then no no this this is not financial advice this is just some education. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm not trying to tell you to buy this or buy that or sell this or sell that. You're a grown folk. You're, you're a big boy, big girl. Make your own decisions. But what I want to do is put opportunity in front of you so that you could have an idea of how to go forward in this crazy, crazy, crazy game we call crypto. Let's go. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I really just wanted to chat with you for a second. I know that times are super crazy right now and many people don't have a lot of money to get invested into, uh, you know, something that nobody really knows a whole lot about. So basically what I want to do is just kind of break it down to you a little bit. And, you know, I'm speaking to investors that may have, you know, anywhere from a thousand to ten thousand dollars to invest. I'm not talking to anybody that has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 grand or whatever, 100 grand. I'm talking to you guys that have, you know, only a little bit to play with. And it's really scary. I know it's a real scary thing to do when you're, you know, you have money aside and you have been looking for something to invest in, but you really don't understand what you're getting into. But that's what I want to try to discuss in this video to give you an idea of some projects and an idea of how to maximize your investment, especially with projects that um, I feel that are really valuable and have a lot of potential going forward into this crypto space, guys. So what I'm going to do is basically go down. I put together a little uh, slide for you. I'm going to talk through it and then we're going to revisit some of the key areas so that you could have an understanding of what I'm trying to put across to you or, you know, how to even look up information to make that judgment on where you want to invest your hard earned money. in. so we're talking to essentially anybody that has like a thousand to 10,000 to invest in crypto. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So what we're talking about is anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000 to invest, guys. So what I did is we know that the two major players in this game is Bitcoin and Ethereum. But what I did is I pulled some other projects together. And what I'm going to do is give you a little bit of breakdown of the projects and give you some information behind how to allocate these projects to your budget. So we're, let's get into detail on these projects and how to allocate your money into this crypto space. All right, so if we essentially had, you know, the one to ten thousand dollars and we're going to invest in cryptocurrency, I essentially pulled 10 projects, guys. And I'm not saying to dump everything into uh, these specific projects, but what I wanted to give you to, to give to you is the idea that we know that Bitcoin, and Ethereum, these are some high end ticket blue chip cryptocurrency projects. Now, if we only had a thousand to ten thousand to play with, we essentially wouldn't want to dump everything we got into the, those two specific cryptos because they're at a lower end of return on investment. You know, we've already seen, uh, you know, three to five X in Ethereum, Bit uh, Bitcoin's about one or two X, something like that. But here's the deal. You know, this is these two projects are something that, you know, you really want to put aside for and just pretty much dollar cost average into these. So the other projects. So I basically allocated these other projects to become more of what I call a medium risk. So essentially what I did is I categorized, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum as, uh, you know, lower risk, but they have a very um, less likely return on investment to be high in that sense. So if you only have a little bit of money to put them into Bitcoin and Ethereum just does not make sense. But we do have a medium risk. So I pulled four projects that I think have some potential to do anywhere from a 25 to a 35 X. And uh, from this point on, and these are like uh, projects that I think are essentially going to hit those targets. So 
we have four projects at a medium risk, which is Internet Computer, Render, Gala Games, and Jasmine. So I also put a category, a category together with a higher risk. Now, these are your meme coins or your projects that have very low market caps and have the potential to make some massive gains. So, uh, you know, when you look at these three categories, they're all pretty solid uh, when it comes to investing. So the way that I built this specific strategy is to allocate a certain amount to each of these categories. Now, let me explain what that looks like. So, so essentially, here's what I wanted to talk about. So here is, uh, you know, an example of how, how I would put my uh, investment into the market. Now, you know, with when it when it comes to the low risk, you know, you have Bitcoin, you have Ethereum, those are some type of projects that you want to just continuously nonstop a uh, dollar cost average now until the next decade to be honest with you because uh you these projects are so major when it comes to uh you know the market cap to each project and then you know the valuation of the price uh it's gonna get uh, insane so you know i just recommend finding a very comfortable dollar cost average position invest in these coins like bitcoin and ethereum um, on a weekly bi-weekly or monthly basis where that just does not stop you're just continuously splitting that down the middle 50 percent to bitcoin 50 percent to ethereum dollar cost average throughout the next 10 20 30 years if you can because those are going to be some crazy crazy gainers if you could consistently do that for the next you know decade or so now when it comes to initial investment if you have one thousand uh, you know, or five thousand or ten thousand dollars. My recommendation is not to go over four projects in each sector, guys. Now, so even looking at the medium risk, you know, these are all very, very great projects. You know, Internet Computer, Render, Gala Games, and Jasmine. These are like really four projects that are gonna, you know, they're gonna give some massive return on investment. Not only that, they're gonna maintain as some very good projects going into the future of Web3 and cryptocurrency. Now, you look at the higher risk. I will play these, you know, Floki, I see that as a little bit long term where it could get, you know, some massive gains, but there is going to be a major sell off. So when it comes to like Floki or Miro, those are the top two high risk tokens that I have as meme coins. Um, now, these will you will see massive rise and then probably massive falls within these two projects. The other two on the bottom, you have Veracity and Solidus, which is uh, AI tech. I believe these are going to be able to uh, transition into that medium risk, but they still have a lot of potential to grow. So they're going to be very valuable. So if you are looking at a 70, 30, uh, you know, you have a thousand dollars, seven hundred dollars into the medium risk, three hundred dollars into the higher risk and divide those up based on, you know, whatever research you could come about. But that's the best way to position yourself to make the most out of that thousand dollar investment that you possibly can. You know, with the projects like Internet Computer, uh, Render, Gala Games and Jasmine, I would literally split, uh, you know, the uh, seven hundred dollars uh, into those equally. You know what I mean? And that's just to get you started. But, you know, now that, you know, if you could initially put a thousand in, you know, spread the seven hundred amongst the four, spread the the 300 amongst the higher risk for and then dollar cost average into the project that you really want to build uh, because you think that that project's going to elevate to the next level. So that's essentially the best way to get started in cryptocurrency. You take a 70 percent, a 30 percent. Now, this is keep this in mind. This is for somebody who's investing with just a little bit of money to put yourself in a position to make some massive money. So, you you know, basically looking at this as a medium risk, you, you're going to average anywhere from 20 to 30 uh, X on every investment with those two with those four projects and then you know at the higher risk with those four projects I can see anywhere from 30 to 60 X you know between each project that's up there in that window so you know that's that's basically the best way to get started uh, you know in cryptocurrency so guys using this particular type of setup guys this little strategy is basically what i did getting into cryptocurrency um you know going serious into the bull run guys i didn't have you know 20 30 000 to throw into the market guys but i initially put jasmine as the biggest uh buy uh for my portfolio and it really took my portfolio from you know literally you know six grand to about 30 some thousand and there's other plays that i had in there guys so this is really crazy uh, you know, when you get in early, you put yourself in a position and I believe this you have one more opportunity to get in early with these projects um, to help you. You know, you could pretty much do the same thing that I did um, if you get in there, research these projects and figure out which one you're going to really, you know, 
press into and i'm telling you you could do it with any project to be honest with you that has a lot of utility that has a lot of community that has basically something to look forward to in the space so you know that's how i did it um basically build your portfolio geared towards this type of setup because obviously if you don't have you know 20 30 50 100 000 to you know really put yourself in a position i mean if i'm coming with 100k into the market uh you best believe i'm, I'm playing more on the side of medium and, and, and lower risk projects but these lower risk projects have uh you know really high market caps and not not to add you know but they're up there in value you know you look at a great project like quant it's over 130 some dollars i believe at this time of this video um even looking at you know projects like ethereum you're talking thousands of dollars couple three grand uh 32 3600 to buy one ethereum token and then bitcoin obviously is the big boy right now at the time of recording i believe it's like 60 some thousand 67 thousand dollars for one bitcoin so like i said this is a, those two those two big bad babies bitcoin and ethereum you want a dollar cost average you know non-stop don't stop dc and a into those because at some point you know your money's going to catch up to the price and you'll be very surprised one day especially if you can accumulate one bitcoin and then you know after a decade from now it's at you know close to a million dollars per token that'd be insane right so this bitcoin having's coming we don't know what it's going to look like guys but if you're new to crypto i wanted you to have that type of strategy so you could have an understanding you know do your research go find some projects that you think uh that are similar to the ones that i set as an example and you know maybe you could get uh some massive massive gains but i still believe guys honestly that there are gains to be had in these projects that are all listed on that page guys so Hope you guys like this. Make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe, guys. And if you guys want to join, you know, jump into more projects or learn more about more projects, hit that 10x squad, guys. The link is in the description. Uh, there is a plan for everybody. It's as low as $12.99, I believe, to you know, 50 bucks. But every plan, you get access to me, you get access to the group, and you get access to a lot of crypto knowledge, guys. So hope you guys like this one again. Take care, guys. Be blessed.